Hey everyone, it's Chris from Smithy Fitness. Welcome back. I'm excited today. I've got a new kettlebell. This is a 32 kilo bell that goes with my 28. This is the heaviest uh, I've ever carried. And I'll talk about that more in a minute. But I want to ask you, what is your fitness goal? You know, is it to be strong, to be slim, to be lean? Those are all very vague. And I need you to kind of sit down and think about it. You know, I want to or I am going to lose 15 pounds. Or I want to add five pounds of muscle or 10 pounds of muscle. Therefore, I need my weight to be X. You know, and maybe for you guys, it's to get the bicep vein. That's a cool vein. I always want it too. That requires some strength, but also leanness, mostly leanness. When you come to an idea of what you actually want, what's you know your ideal body, go online and find somebody who's got that look and download it and look at it and repeat to yourself, this is me, this is me, this is me, this is me, and then get to work. But we really need specific goals to be able to hit them. Stand on the scale, get an idea of what you want, write it down, think about it regularly, and you're gonna hit that goal in time, and your whole life is gonna be better. All right, so I'm gonna do four sets of 16 push-ups today, but they're gonna be different push-ups. Look something like this. I'm sure they have a name, but I can't think of it right now. But it's... So that's 16. It has to be an even number because you got to go both sides, so eight on each side. But they're a, a different challenge. Okay, so now you've got a goal. You've got to attain it. And I hate to tell you this, but if you're going to attain it, you've got to suffer. There's just no way around it. Um, every time that you're walking with a weight or lifting a weight in the gym, your aim has to be as soon as possible, perhaps the next workout, to lift more or to walk with carrier, uh, heavier bells. So the suffering is an integral part. If you stay with the same weight, it will always feel heavy. It will always feel more or less the same. The only way that that weight is going to feel light someday is if you go up in weight for two months and then you come back and you test. It'll feel easy. So when you're carrying and you want to put them down, you need to go an extra 20 steps, 30 steps, maybe 40 steps. Right now I got this new weight and I really didn't think I'd be able to go the whole length of the field with it. And I'm suffering pretty good right now, but this is awesome. And when I go back to my old lighter weights, it's going to be a breeze. And mostly I'm looking forward to doing even heavier. I've got a 36 kettlebell, 36 kilo bell at home. I can't wait to walk with the 32 and 36. My goal for this year is to do the whole length plus half with the 32 and 36. Hopefully I get that by the end of the summer. So look, you've got to suffer. Enjoy the suffering, I've said it before. Embrace it, know that that is where the gains reside. They don't reside in taking it easy. So suffer, get into it, and get to your uh, dream body. So pull-ups are great, but if you don't have them, Try hanging. Hanging's a great uh, exercise. Way harder than it looks, especially as you get to 30 seconds, 60, 90, a minute 20. It's really good for you to stretch out your spine. And when we're 
lifting or carrying the bells, you're working your grip anyway. So I have to say it's a bit overkill to be doing big hangs while you're doing this, but just in general, hanging will, uh, will give you loads of benefits. I just like the decompression on the spine, especially the elbows. Whoo, it ain't easy. My record's 235, not on this bar, on a skinnier bar. So I uh, give that a go. Ah. All right. Oh. Talk about suffering. Ooh. Oh, left arm. All right, so that was uh, three back and forth. So six carries uh, about 135 steps. It's a full football field. Now last week I used the 28 and 24 and I did four rounds. By the last round I was dying almost like I just was, not quite as bad. So I'm really happy with that. And you've got reserves too. So if you're used to carrying a 16 and a 20, for example, or two 16s or two 20s, think about going up. In fact, don't think about it. Go up. If you can't go as far, that's fine. But get used to that feeling. Bunch of push-ups, curls, some sprints. Great day. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you feel like it. I'll see you in the next one.